So every, roughly every two years, thousands of ships would depart from Earth to Mars. It would look like Battlestar Galactica. The Starship is the first design of a rocket that is actually capable of making life multiplanetary. A tento človek... Je jej hlavným inžinierom. Because this is the first time in Earth's four and a half billion year history that it's been possible to extend life or consciousness beyond Earth. And we've got to do that while civilization is still strong. And I, I think this can be done in around 20 years. <coughs> Čerešne s mliekom. Iba že by nie. If your, if your civilization lasts a million years, it only goes, that third digit past the decimal point goes up one. <laughs> And that's a million years. So, I mean, I'd say, like we should think of like, how do we make civilization last a million years? Ale prosím ťa, um, koho zaujíma tak veľká časová škála? No a čo tie medzery medzi panelmi na autách? You know, we often get caught up in like the day-to-day -day things, but we want to have at least a million year civilization, if not a hundred million year civilization, or a billion year civilization. So... Myslí v dekádkach? A absolutely crucial to that goal is becoming a multi-planet species. <laughs> from, a, from a tiny rocket, a starship will get bigger, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you know, this, this year, if, if, um, if things go according to plan, uh, SpaceX will do probably 90% of all Earth mass to orbit. And then China will do about 6%, and the rest of the world will do about 4%. Uh, which is pretty wild. Flex? And then once Starship is flying, uh, we'll be doing over 99% of all Earth mass to orbit. Flex? Um, 99% trhu planety. Jedna firma. I'm on the next level, yeah. Monopol na vesmír. Riaditeľ galaxie. Um, which you kind of have to do in order to uh, build a city on Mars. And, and I should say, we'll also build a, a, a lunar base as well. So, so it might as well, along the way. A cestou postavíme základňu na mesiaci. Lebo prečo nie? Wow. This is epic.
S Marzom to myslí vážne. No čo to dokáže zdôrazniť je lepšie ako fakt, že je inžinierom najväčšej vesmírnej lode v histórii, keď ju vo vzduchu chytí paličkami. Pristatie Starship už zvládli. Teraz im ide skôr o to zabrzdiť tých 26 tisíc kilometrov za hodinu a tváriť sa, že trenie vzduchu neexistuje. 7 kilometrov za sekundu je tak 10 násobok rýchlosti strelnej zbrane. Boosters and ships, and um, and that production rate will increase a lot uh, next year. That's why we're building the, the giant factory. Rovnako ako pri Tesla, niekoľko násobne väčší problém je postaviť výrobnú linku. Vývoj myšlienok ohľadom veľkovýroby za posledných 10 rokov nájdeš zo strihu, ktorý trval 30 hodín a vieš ho skonzumovať za 20 minút. In manufacturing education really and truly is uh, remarkable and I'm very very happy that At this point I think designing a rocket is trivial. Just trivial. There's like tons of books that'll you read them you know You can understand equations, you can design a rocket. Uh, it's real, real easy. Uh, yeah, but if, you, if you say like two stage uh, two, and 2% of your liftoff mass to orbit, it, from a, just to, to design something like that, piece of cake. The next step is you want to make even one of those things. Okay, now making even one of those things and getting it to orbit is hard. The making of a production line that builds and launches many is extremely hard. But by building a machine that builds a machine, I mean, I mean creating the production system. The hard part is making it and making lots of them yeah. and launching frequently. We have lift off. And we'll need to ramp uh, production to pretty high numbers, like uh, I think ultimately probably a ship every, like multiple ships per day, basically. Um, and uh, then next year we're aiming to demonstrate ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer. Um, it's, it's hard to make this not look a little bit naughty, uh, <laughs> because it's two ships connecting and doing a fluid transfer. It's just what it is. Um, well, it's going to be a specialized ship for the moon. We've made um, dramatic progress on, on every level for Starship. Uh, it's, it looks like, Raptor 3 looks like it's missing a bunch of parts, uh, but actually those parts have either been deleted or they've been integrated into the system. Yeah, so it's uh, much simpler. Well, it's, 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 yeah. It's actually extremely difficult to build Raptor 3, but... Um, but it will be easy to integrate and will have higher performance and lower total mass. Just delete it. That's the best thing. Yeah. Oh, delete it. Delete. <laughs>
Okay. It probably grows a bit more than that even, really. Uh, one of the most profound things is Starship 3 will cost less per flight than Falcon 1. Uh, so this is within the balance, with, without breaking physics, we can do this. Vesmírne okienko. Yay! Orbit nie je výška, ale rýchlosť. Na to, aby si opustil planetu tak, aby ťa nevcucla naspäť jej gravitácia, potrebuješ skôr rýchlosť, než výšku. So the, the Mars missions are two years apart, or 26 months. If you look closely at the Starlink router, you see the, the home and transfer from Earth orbit to Mars orbit. That's basically to, to say to people, the Starlink system that you're buying is helping get humanity to Mars. So roughly every two years, thousands of ships would depart from Earth to Mars. It would look like Battlestar Galactica, but in a good way, you know. Hopefully without being chased by the Cylons. Um, but I, it would be an incredible thing to see these thousands of ships departing every, every 26 months for Mars. So these are all the things that would have to be developed. Uh, sometimes people ask me, are we developing these things? I'm like, not yet, because uh, this is the cart and we need the horse first. Um, so the rocket is the horse and then this is the cart. Uh, but ultimately we'll need all these things. Ak má byť Mars sebestačný, musíš tam vybudovať všetko. Aj fabriku na čipy. <coughs> Tesla. A keďže sa tam ani jediný kilogram neocitne lusknutím prsta, kto iný na novo nadizajnuje všetok priemysel Zeme efektívnejšie ako tie najlepšie mozgy sveta? Tesla a SpaceX. I, th I think probably the, a rough order of magnitude guess for what you need, how many people do you need for a self-sustaining city is about a million um, and several million tons of, of cargo. So if you do 10 launches a day at 200 tons per launch, a uh, million and a half tons to Leo per opportunity, you, you net that out to a quarter million tons uh, to Mars per opportunity. So. 250 tisíc tón na Mars každých 26 mesiacov. Lebo nemá zmysel posielať rakety, keď je Mars na druhej strane za Slnkom. That means you can get to, to a million tons in about 8 years since the opportunities are 2 years apart. I'm like, we're actually going to do this. Millions of tons to Mars. And we're going to build a lot of vehicles. Which really quite, quite doable actually. It sounds like a lot, but it's very doable. Takže, v priebehu dvoch rokov na orbit parkuješ tisíce vesmírnych lodí s nákladom. Pošleš im tisíce ďalších, aby si dotykom vymenili telesné tekutiny a mali šťavu na cestu zhruba 500 miliónov kilometrov. Keď sa priblíži Mars, zapneš všetky motory a ide sa na vec. O 6 mesiacov neskôr pristanú, Vystúpia z nich tisíce robotov a začnú nám stavať druhý domov, ktorý si dinosaury nikdy nedopriali.